Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm gonna to show you how I make really delicious chicken burrito bowls at home. This is something I make all the time and I never get tired of it because they're so good and they're pretty nutritious too. First, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get cooking. Now I know when you look at all these ingredients, it kind of looks like a lot of work, but trust me, chicken burrito bowls are so easy to toss together, you'll be amazed. So rather than go over all the ingredients, I'm just going to write them up in the description box below, and that way you can pick and choose what you want anyway and customize it to your liking. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna begin with the rice since that takes the longest. I'm going with one cup of brown rice, but you can use white rice if you prefer, and I'm just going to wash it first and let it soak in water for about 15 to 30 minutes, because that's what's recommended with brown rice to improve digestibility and speed up the cooking time. When that time is up, I drain and remove all the water. Then in a large skillet over medium-high heat, I add a little olive oil and then toss in the brown rice and brown it for a few minutes. I add in some chopped onion, saute that for just a bit. Then I season with a little salt and a little cumin, stir it up. And then I add two cups of chicken broth to the one cup of rice. You can see how quickly it comes to a boil because a pan is hot, so immediately we need to cover it with a lid, reduce the heat to low, and then just let it simmer untouched for about 40 minutes or until all the water evaporates. You never want to stir rice while it's cooking or even lift open the lid. Just leave it alone and let it do its thing. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to prepare the chicken and I'm using chicken tenderloins. And I really like them because they're cut so thin and they cook real quickly. Uh, if you're using chicken breasts, you may want to just split them down the middle so they won't be so thick. And when I season my chicken, I almost always just season with two things and that's salt and pesto. But of course you can season your chicken however you like it. Just so happens that I really love pesto and I have basil growing in my backyard. So I actually make this homemade and always have some on hand. But I wanna show you another one of my go-tos and that is Olive Garden Salad Dressing. Now you just put the chicken in a big Ziploc bag, pour some of this in there, shake it up a bit, throw it back in the refrigerator to chill or to marinate rather for about 30 minutes and it comes out wonderful. But let me get back to what I'm doing here so that we can fry up this chicken soon. With the chicken fully coated in pesto and seasoned with salt, I move over to the stove where I place a large skillet on medium high heat. I'll add some olive oil and once it's hot, I toss in the chicken. I'll let it fry for about four minutes on each side because I like it to get that crispy exterior. Then I'll take it out and let it rest. Resting before cutting is the secret to keeping all the juices locked in. Meantime, I'll put some of these corn kernels into an ungreased cast iron pan so I can roast the corn where it gets those dark burn marks. To do that, you want to eliminate any moisture. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes without stirring. And then I'll flip these kernels over until they look roasted. I'm also going to start heating up the black beans. And since I didn't cook my own today, I'm going with canned, but I'm going to doctor them up just a bit by adding a little chopped onion and then seasoning with a few dashes of garlic salt and about a half a teaspoon of chili powder. 
That should give it a more homemade taste so no one will know it's from a can. The rice is now done, so I'm going to take it off the burner and then tend to the corn. And the corn looks roasted now, so I'll take it off the burner. The beans are fully heated as well, so now I can finish up by fluffing up the rice with a fork, chopping up the chicken into bite-sized pieces, and then we can assemble our burrito bowls. I'll start with the layer of this delicious brown rice that is cooked perfectly. I'll spoon some of these seasoned black beans on top, then toss in some of this chicken that's juicy and cooked exactly how I like it. I'll sprinkle in some of these roasted corn kernels, add just a bit of lettuce, tomato, pepper jack cheese, and avocado. Then I can top it off with some of my homemade salsa, and this chicken burrito bowl is done. This looks so good. Now, you can add some sour cream if you'd like, but I'm just gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice on here because these are from my lime tree outside and this year for the first time it produced all sorts of fruit for us. So I'm excited to try this. I'll go ahead and take a bite. This is so, so good. I love everything about it. You've got the uh, rice, the black beans, the chicken that's cooked so perfectly. And then of course, all those wonderful toppings. It's just packed with flavor. And again, it's pretty high on nutritional value as well. So I really hope you make it and that you love it as much as I do. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Again, all the ingredients are in the description box below. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.